What's going on guys, GSR15 here and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon episode review. This is it. This is the finals, or the second part of the finals. Today we will find out if Ash will win the league or Gladion will. Will Ash finally win a league? After six previous attempts, will he win on his seventh try? We'll have to find out. I know I've been looking forward to this episode for quite some time and if you have as well, make sure you check it out because we are going through the episode now so this week's episode is episode 139 the rise of alola's champion the start of the finals began last week ash's male metal went down to gladion Silvalli. pikachu managed to beat Silvalli, and now we have pikachu versus zoroark but who will become alola's first ever champion okay with the recap done the episode immediately kicks off with zoroark using night days however pikachu somehow manages to block the attack with Thunderbolt. Pikachu then takes two Shadow Claws pretty much back to back and doesn't really seem harmed by them. As Pikachu is tumbling through the air towards the ground, Gladion goes for his Z move, which I believe is called Never Ending Nightmare, although don't quote me on that because I'm not actually quite sure. Anyway, Gladion goes for the Z move to trap Ash and Pikachu in Zoroark's illusion. Once they're in the illusion, Pikachu starts running away from lots and lots of ghost hands, trying to grab it and hurt it. Gladion tells Ash that he's wasting his time. No one can escape Zoroark's illusion. And Ash replies with, who cares? Ash tells Pikachu to stop running and they go for their Z move, Breakneck Blitz. Pikachu speeds towards Zoroark, destroying all of the ghost hands in the way and flies into Zoroark, disabling the illusion and taking Zoroark and itself down. Which means both trainers are now down to their last Pokemon. But before they bring out their last Pokemon, they both start laughing. Which, honestly, I thought was quite strange. It just proves more of a point that Sun and Moon is more comedic and more for children. Like, just imagine, in the Kalos League, I can't imagine Ash and Alan just bursting into laughter. I just can't imagine it, but for Sun and Moon, you can. And not really a fan of this point where they started laughing. Anyway, once they've done with the laughing, they bring out their final Pokemon. Gladion uses Midnight Lycanroc and Ash uses Dusk Lycanroc. I think for the rest of the episode, I'm going to refer to Midnight Lycanroc as Midnight and Dusk Lycanroc as Dusk. Just so it's a bit easier than me having to say Dusk Lycanroc or Midnight Lycanroc or just saying them both as Lycanroc. Once the Pokemon had come out of their Pokeballs, they started playing the credits music, which I didn't really think went with the episode. I think this is the finals. This is the final of the Pokemon League. The music should be epic and dark and make you think, oh, this is it. This is this is going to be a good battle. Not fun and upbeat and happy. I just don't really think the music should have been used at the Pokemon League and especially not in the finals. Anyway, during this music, they show a montage of Dusk Lycanroc's progression from being round Midnight Lycanroc. From them battling ages ago when Dusk Lycanroc was just a little rock rough to it evolving into Dusk form and finally battling when it was in its angry mode. And thankfully, once the montage was finished, the music did as well and we went back to some dark and epic music. Anyway, both Pokemon start the battle with a Stone Edge, which end up cancelling each other out. Midnight then goes for a counter to damage Dusk Lycanroc, and Dusk manages to dodge a Stone Edge. Ash being, well, Ash, he tells Lycanroc to attack, attack, and keep attacking. And as you can imagine, they do that. Midnight repeatedly uses more and more Stone Edge, and it does get to the point where it's like, okay, he's using Stone Edge, what's he going to use next? Oh, it's another Stone Edge. It does start to repeat itself quite a bit. As Midnight is repeatedly using Stone Edge, Dust Lycanroc dodges them all until he gets in close and Midnight uses Counter to once again land a big hit. Dust Lycanroc manages to get back onto its feet, but both Pokemon are very tired and low on energy. But that doesn't stop them from dishing out more and more attacks and dodging more and more attacks. Midnight Lycanroc then gets a Sword Stance off, which made me think, why didn't you use Sword Stance right at the beginning? The battle could have been over if he used Sword Stance. Why leave it this late into the battle? Once Sword Stance was up, Midnight Lycanroc goes for Outrage, which takes down a lot of Dusk Lycanroc Stone Edge that has been put in the way. But as you know with Outrage, after a while it does leave the user confused and Midnight Lycanroc gets confused. But to snap out of its own confusion, it bites on its own hand and with 
Ash not realizing this tactic, gets in close with Dust Lycan Rock. However, Midnight Lycan Rock snaps out the confusion, uses counter and lands another powerful blow to Dusk Lycan Rock, which honestly at the point I'm surprised that it can still keep going. It took three super powerful counter moves, one of them being even more powerful with Swords Dance, and it can still get back onto its feet. Very surprised that it can still do that. Both Pokemon are at the point where the next move will decide the battle and will decide who is Alola's first ever champion. Does Lycanroc flies towards Midnight Lycanroc, breaking all of the stone edges in its way to get close. However, Midnight Lycanroc uses counter to land a powerful hit. But then, just when we thought that the battle was all over, Does Lycanroc uses counter to counter Midnight's counter to land an even bigger hit, throwing Midnight Lycanroc to the wall and knocking it out, which means Ash is the champion. Finally, after 23 years competing in seven leagues, he's done it. He's finally got a league champion title. Everyone in the crowd is cheering and saying, well done, you know, he finally did it. And there are smiles on all of their faces. And honestly, when this was going off, I did have a smile on my face too. Moving back to Ash, who is completely in all that is won and doesn't really believe that he's finally done it. Gladion congratulates him and then we pan to Team Rocket, who are still underground and who are also starstruck that Ash has won the league. And it also turns out that their mech is finally ready. However, back at Team Rocket's base, the robot Orangaroo has been destroyed and is broken. And Beware is nowhere to be seen. I wonder where it's gone. Anyway, the ceremony is now taking place. The Mask Royale hands the trophy to Ash, and Ash tells him that he is looking forward to their special match tomorrow. As everyone is cheering, an Ultra Wormhole opens up above the ceremony, and Guzzlord falls out. Guzzlord then lets out its amazing cry, and the episode ends. So there we go. That is the end of this episode. Ash finally, finally, finally won a Pokemon League competition. What did you guys think of this episode? My honest opinion, I'm, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm thinking that, yeah, there was parts where it was really good, but then there was parts where it was like, is this really a Pokemon League episode? It doesn't feel like it should be a Pokemon League episode. I mean, comparing it to the past Pokemon League finals, you know, you had the Kalos League, the Hoenn League, the Sinnoh League. The Alola League doesn't feel like it's a Pokemon League. It just doesn't. And Ash winning it, it doesn't feel like he should have won the match. Yes, okay, he did a good job, but it doesn't feel like he's earned it enough like he would have done in the Kalos League. He felt like he deserved a victory there while here. It doesn't feel like he deserves to win this. There are some points in this episode which did make it good. For example, the battle with Pikachu and Zoroark. I thought that segment was good, how they captured Zoroark's illusion. That was really good. But then the part with Midnight Lycanroc and Dusk Lycanroc. Felt like there was parts in that way. It did let it down. The fact that they reused some animation in parts of the battle. And the fact that they kept using Stone Edge over and over and over again. And Counter over and over again. It did start to drag on a bit and think, okay... What's coming next? Oh, it's a Stone Edge. Dust Lycan Rock goes in close. Oh, what's Midnight Lycan Rock going to do? It's going to use Counter. It was a bit predictable. And also, one more thing I'm going to point out is how the episode ended. They ended the episode with Ash getting the trophy and being congratulated during the ceremony. Then had the Ultra Beast Guzzlord land in the stadium and interrupting the whole ceremony process. Now, the reason I have an issue with this is because it's pretty much identical to how they ended the Kalos League. In the Kalos League, Alan gets the trophy, he's congratulated by any, everyone, and then the evil Zygarde's tentacle plant things break through into the Pokemon League, interrupting the ceremony process, just like it did with the Alola one. So my final rating for this episode. I've had a long hard think about this, and I don't want to give it a high rating. That being said, I don't want to give it a low rating, so I think I'm going for somewhere in the middle. I'm just going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Yes, okay, there was parts of this episode that was good, but then there was parts that really let it down. And the fact that they ended it by copying the same way they ended it in the Kalos League. I thought that let it down as well. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end this episode off. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Comment down below in the comment section. As you know, I'm starting to reply to a lot more comments down there. And finally, subscribe to the channel 
if you are new. We've still got tons more episodes of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime to come, and I will be covering them all. So make sure you are subscribed to see all of them. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next week with the next episode.